Here we are, checking in episode t -t -t 21 of Scruffy Chinwags. Uh, we've got a young traveller over here, a young Jaden Heaps. Did the mission over from the old Bowcluther? All the way from, well, oh, not really Bowcluther. Nah, gore now, I suppose. Gore, aren't I? We've gore got a gore on. on Scruffy Chinwags, kids. What's going on? Probably wouldn't advertise that too much. <laughs> It's what are you up to? What do you what do you do for yourself, mate? Give oh, the people keep some. Him, keep himself busy down there working in the old uh, brand new milk powder factory. Yeah, right. She's not too bad. Yep. Loving up a bit of powder. Yeah, right. Get her done for the old kids, you know, as you do. Yeah, fucking. Yeah, she's not too bad. That shifties, is it? That shifties, mate. She's straight shifties. She's your four on, four Cashies? off. Cash in hand. Turn up in a high vis, you get paid. <laughs> on the forkies. Fucking ice boy. Fucking Lollipop oath. man. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick fire. You've only been in Melbourne. Today is Thursday, the yep. 28th of February. We're yep. closing in on another month. That's it. Fucking hell. Um, you got here on the Tuesday. Yep. Been, so here, you've only been here for a couple two days. days, really. Right, Third we're doing, day now. We're going to do a quick fire Malbs review for you. All like right. Yep. You ready? Okay, let's go. Flight over, out of 10. Everything out of 10. Flight over, probably about a six, I'd say. No turbulence, fairly right. quiet. Yep. Um, oh, I'd almost give it a five. There was a fucking screaming Asian baby in front of me. Fuck, that's rough. I'm wasn't thinking about a three. I wasn't I get a about it. Asian baby. Nah, but I had I had the earplugs oh, right. constantly in, just cranking the chilies, cranking your Eminem. Nice, nice. Get really myself, getting in the mood. Get myself in the zone. We'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, we got here Tuesday. Um, Maidstone area, our area here. I enjoy Maidstone. Out of ten. Yep, probably a, probably an eight. Eight I'll out give of it ten. Wow. Give her an eight. I quite like it. There you I'm go, not, kids. I'm not big on the city sort of right. side of things. Well, then just quickly, the city out of 10, the CBD. <sighs> I had quite a good time in the CBD, all things considering, but mm -hmm. you couldn't live there, could you? Nah. Like, nah. I wouldn't, wouldn't be a fan of working there either, just the constant like travel in and out. It's, yeah. just, it's just hassle, absolute hassle Absolutely. that you don't need. Probably CBD, I'd give it I'd give her a six. Six, yep, yep there you had go. Had a good wee wander, a few shops. Okay, how about... um. Let's go. <laughs> what was that Mexican we had? Oh, that was not bad. I can't even remember what the fuck it was called. I can't and remember what it was called either. One you made mix. It was the other one. The yellow one. Yeah. G and G. Yeah. That something like that. Yeah. Um, that was pretty fucking sharp. I'll be honest with you. Probably we give that almost an eight. An eight out of ten. Yep. Okay. And we're talking the comics lounge. I thoroughly enjoyed the comics lounge. Yeah, but a hairy, hey, <laughs> gone. Fuck me, he gone. You know, he was pretty good. Um, no, in general, it was pretty good. Fuck, it was bigger than I thought. eh? like, yeah, quite yeah. a few cunts getting behind there. Few cunts are there. They love it. She's going. Oh, out of ten. Out of ten, I'll give her a nine. Nine. I'll give there her a nine. Is. There it is. Okay. Then we're moving into our more Wednesday type carry on activities. The Melbourne Lake. I quite enjoyed the lake. Yep. But nice, pristine views. Yep. Yeah, it's a nice view of the city. Beautiful, yep. yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Wish I'd bloody wish I'd had a bit of phone battery left, so I could have went for a wander out to the sea. Yeah, it was a slight that issue. Is niggly. That's all that. right. We'll you get, get there. The, you we'll get, get that there. In the big jobs. Out of ten, you? Lake. Out of ten, I'll give her an eight. Eight. I'll give yep. her an eight. She's been solid so far. Um, yep. how about the Cassiano? Cassiano. She's probably a four for the cast. Crown. <laughs> I, I dropped a bit of coin at the cast. How probably much are we bit. talking? How much? Well, did what you was it? One year, one thirty, wasn't it? A couple of pineapples <laughs> through the pokes. Didn't pay off whatsoever. The how didn't how quick? How quick did that fucking fifty go in the big red? Oh fucking hell, boy! And blackjack, she, she just kind of blackjack up was, and down, up and yeah, down, was, and then just gone. Yeah, you go all in. You get to that point where you go all in. You just like, but you got to win big yeah. sometime. Yeah, win yeah. big, lose big. Yeah. We both lost big, lost big, big same players. hand. <laughs> big time players. Uh, was there anything else? What else did we do last? Kebab. Kebab wasn't bad on the walk home. How I'm much still, is that out of 10? I'm st probably an eight, but fuck, I'm still surprised that there was three kebab shops right beside each other. Yeah, there's something going on there. fucking vicinity. There's something going on there. There is. This is near Flinders, by the way, for anyone. There's yep. three fucking CBD kebabs, Viva. Viva kebabs and... HSP kebabs. HSP kebabs, that's the one. All three literally right beside each other. Fuck, what? We were talking about that last night. HSP, I'm going to have to consult old mate. Hey, Google, what does HSP kebab stand for? According to Wikipedia, a halal snack pack is a dish consisting halal of halal snack. certified Donner kebab meat and chips. Like that. It also includes different kinds of sauces, usually chili, garlic, and barbecue. 
I think that was exactly what we went, isn't it? Yes, yes, the halal snack pack. I do like chip and, chips and meat, though. I mean, it's yeah, You can't not. It's good. Can't not. Have, good. You ever, have you ever had your poutines? Yeah, I've had my poutines. It's yeah. a similar buzz. Yeah. Um, just a less, bit less meat, isn't it? Less meat. Yeah, or slash Way no meat. less meat. Yeah. <laughs> it's, not the, it's not the primary ingredient no, added to the chips. It's the chips and the gravy, isn't it? Like how versatile are chips, though? Oh, yeah, potatoes. you can have them with anything. Potatoes are fucking phenomenal. Taters, eh? Yeah. Taters. If you're going to expand it to taters, mm. not even... Chips. Yeah. Taters, just anything. <laughs> potatoes is anything. Favourite type of potato? Yeah. I mean, obviously, it's, it chops and changes. Border, borderline but... chip, I'd say, but saying that, though, fuck, a good roastie's not bad. Oh, a good roastie is good, isn't it? Get a bit of gravy on there, your seasonings. Fucking oath. You ever had anything buzzy, like, roasted? Probably onions, probably the buzziest one, but that's not that buzzy. That's fairly stock no, standard, I, think, I feel. I think that's reasonably standard. Yeah. Have you ever had the roasted beetroot? Nah, haven't had the roasted beetroot. Are you a beetroot fucker? Or? I fuck with a bit of beetroot from time to time. I fuck with a fucking shitload of beetroot. Yeah, nah, to be good honest. Time. With you. Get it. Well, I was pretty scared of the there. look of it for starts. I'm hearing you. It's a bit intimidating. Yeah. It's you don't want to go around disgusting. there. You don't want going around there in your white clothes. <laughs> nah, fuck no. Even, fuck, kind of stains your fingers a little bit. It does, I'm hearing you. But, um,. It's good. And roasted beetroot, I'd get amongst it, you know? It was tasty. Haven't been there, but I'll definitely recommend it next yeah. time we're having a roast. <laughs> Keep it in the playbook. Yeah. Yeah, nice one. Okay, well, we've also got a game of, um, that's a nice little Melbourne review. Yep. Um, you know, it was sharp. So far, whole trip, I'd give a eight. So far, the whole trip, give a eight. You've got one more night here, you're leaving tomorrow, right? Okay. Um, that's how she's going. Okay, so we've got, what do we got left? You're gonna go to the zoo? Yeah, you, I'm thinking. That... I'm thinking zoo. I've backed out of your lunar parks. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I think the lunar and parks are good. It sounds avoidance. a bit dusty. It sounds a bit dusty. Oh, one more thing. One more thing. I'll get you rating on the weather. Oh, weather's been fucking phenomenal. If anything, too hot. Too hot. And I'm not complaining about that coming from the gore climate. <laughs> yeah, she's just bloody she's toasty a, down there. She's a massive in improvement. Days. Massive improvement. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. What, what would you give the weather out of ten then? Considering that it's been hot, you know. I'm gonna give it a nine. Gonna give it a nine. Because a ten's probably ten's probably it's probably too hot for a ten. Yeah, yeah, but it is. Someone was saying there's been a bit of snow back in bloody New Zealand. Eh? Where? Not sure. Someone said there's a couple of centimeters up on the top of the mountains. Oh, who gives a shit? But top still, of the mountains. Yeah. yeah. Uh, up on your ski fields. Middle of snow. Yeah. Fuck. Open it back up, boys. It was out the gate that they opened that back up in December. Yeah, that what is. The which one was that? I think I, think I fucking heard. I about think it, it was Coronet Peak. Coronet reopened in December. They're not like even two that weeks, high. two three weeks. Now it's Cadrona, sorry, because Brox okay. got the callback. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice one, Brockstar. Um, fuck, two weeks, did you say? Yep. I wonder how many runs were open. Yeah, I don't think they all were. I don't surely think they not. all were. Captains, surely not. Nah, because it's pretty dusty on a good day. Yeah. Maybe even just McDougies. Oh, they've got their fucking gondola, eh? Now. Yeah. Have you hit that? Yeah. It's not bad, eh? So what? Not bad for a mix up. So it's like every it. every second one's a gondola, and then the one afterwards is a chairlift. So okay, it like yeah. flicks round. But there's still the shitty chairlifts. Yeah, there's still your shit chairlifts, but then you got. Is there two your, different lines for gondola yep. or yep. chairlift? Yep. Okay, that's good because you'd be gutted if you line up and just luck of the draw, you get a shitty yep. chairlift. You yeah, know, nah, it's out of it because heaps of people don't use the gondola as well because you have to take everything off. Oh, like, yeah, you got to yeah. you take your skis it's, right off. And you chuck them on a wee outside piece. A bit easier for a snowboarder then, I'd say. Yeah, a lot easier. A lot easier. So, yeah, it's one of those things you hit up. I'm my skis. Nah. It's one of those things you hit up after your lunch, I reckon. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Getting a bit tired. Yeah, and you can't be fucked. You've just, you've already got your skis off. Yeah. Go for a wander. You almost snake the wee, the wee hip flask on there. Rude not to. <laughs> Rude not to. Yeah. How clutch was that hip flask last night at the cast? Oh. Fucking Nothing luxury. like a bit of vodka and water yep. to get you going. Oh, good for it. Good for it. Fuck Even. on bow today. I rate it. Yeah. It's all nah, good. It's a great time. How fucking unclutch was the wand at your JP's though? Oh, fuck, that's right. That was the other thing we did. Jordan Peterson yeah, can't. What did you give that out of 10? Oh, fuck, I'd give that an 8. Yeah, it's good. I quite enjoyed it. It wasn't what I was thinking. Nah, well, we but, missed the fucking start because. Yeah, that's true. I don't know what, what he would have said then. Probably not nah, that much. We can't have missed it. A bit of an introduction, I'd say, and that's probably yeah, about the gist of it. Cunts clapping overboard. Yep. Oh, cunts love it. They love clapping for nothing. <laughs> they do, eh? That's yeah. why I was looking around when, when everyone started giving them a standing ovation. I was just yeah. like, 
so funny just watching like a little Mexican wave of people just kind of stand up and follow everyone and just. And there's just the one, the one guy in the section that does it. No one else gets up. He's <laughs> no a section there. Because we were right the fuck up the back. Yeah, she but was. it was pretty trippy. He's actually taller than I thought. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. But no, that was good. Where was that? The fucking convention center, center? Melbourne Convention Center. I'm that's sure. a trippy building. building. Not a small bitch. How quite fucking big is stretch it? Stretch the imagination. Hey Google. What's the capacity of the Melbourne Convention Center? On the website plenarygroup.com, they say, the largest operable walls in the Southern Hemisphere and a unique retractable seating system allow the hall to be divided into three separate theaters, one with capacity for up to 2,500 people. I don't know if that was... No, I think we had more than 2,500 people there. Yeah, I don't know. That line was hard. fucking massive. The line was ridiculous, bro. I don't know if that was relevant to our one or not. I couldn't really yeah. hear it probably. Cheers anyway, mate. Um, yeah, no, nah, JP, that was cool to go in there, though. It was a pretty cool uh, like lecture theatre. I suppose that's what you'd yeah. call it, eh? Yeah, that's, I don't know what else you'd use something like that for. Yeah. Imagine like having uni in those theatres. Oh, it'd be hectic. Yeah. Fucking massive. Did you notice like, the walls and stuff, how they had the buzzy like sound yeah, prevention yeah, yeah. shit? It's cool. It's cool. Yeah, it looks like you could remove quite a lot of those seats down there as well. Yeah. Change the sizings of it and shit like that. Yeah, it did. It did. I wonder if they do gigs and shit in there too. I don't know. Potentially, but they wouldn't do. Surely, it wouldn't be your pop and your rock sort of gigs in there. It's not the right, not really the right venue, is it? Nah, surely not. But it'd be. Uh, I don't know. Potentially, get a wee bit of classical in there. Maybe. Maybe. Did you hear you going? Um. Yeah. Nah. JP was good though. Um. Is I just felt like. Most of it I'd already heard. Yeah, I'm hearing you. That's why I yeah. stayed away from listening to too much. Even yeah. though I knew I was going to him, I was like, I knew enough to enjoy it, but yeah, didn't yeah. want to get too deep into what he was actually going to say. Yeah. Like before it, before going there. Yeah. I feel like most of it's on YouTube, but I expected yeah. that going in. Yeah. And to be fair, I've watched a fuckload and yep. it probably owe him. Mm. Probably you know. owe him a little bit. Yep. <laughs> yep. Probably a wee touch. Yeah. Pulled his book though. Come on. I fucking did it. I haven't read it. Would have enjoyed a wee, wee bit of a bloody meet and greet afterwards. Yeah, it would have been cool. To get him to sign the book. I would say if I if I did something like that again, I'd almost want to splash out and do the wee, the VIP meet and greet thing. Can you? Could you do that? Was it an option? Yeah. Oh yeah, that would have yeah. been gangster. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know how much it was though. Yeah, I'd say it'd be pretty steep. She would have been up there. Yeah. She would have been up there. I feel like it wouldn't be a brief meet and greet with the man either. Like. Oh, you would it? I don't, I don't reckon it would be. I reckon I wouldn't want it to be. I'd love to sit down and have breakfast with the kid. Have a fuck, get him on your potty. Well, we were talking about this the other night, actually. If you could sit down with three people who are alive yep. only. Oh, alive only. Yep. Because it's just there's too many cunts that yeah, have died. I know. I know. This, everyone's yep. died. I'll give you that. Every... <laughs> if they haven't died, they're not still alive. Because I'm doing die. I'm doing Jesus. Oh, yep. I know. <laughs> That's what everyone says, isn't it? Yeah. Um. Uh, anyway, yeah, three people that are alive. If you could sit down with them, who would they be? Probably one would be Charlie Sheen. Yeah, right. That's that's nice. I like that. Fuck, he'd have some stories, wouldn't he? He's gonna have some fucking crazy stories. He'd have he? some insane stories. Yeah, and let's bear in mind when we're doing these three, you've got to think about how the chemistry is gonna be. I know between around them. them like yeah. you're not gonna go him and then go straight away. Yeah, yeah. he's gonna be. <laughs> but absolute are you? Because he might take the piss out of the cunt. He would. He'd ruin the poor cunts. Yeah. Which it could worth be it, fun. Be definitely worth it. Anyway, Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen. You start. sit down having some fucking bacon and eggs. Who yep. else is there? Who else is there? I reckon Obama would be an interesting one. Chuck Obama? him in with, with your Charlie Sheens. Yeah, right. Yep. You think they would have met in person already? I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah. No idea. Not nah, neither. Let's Poten just say. There's I'd, potential though. There's potential. Anyway, last person. Last person. What a good one. I don't know. I reckon I reckon get your J.R. Smiths in there. J.R. Smith. Just to mix it out. I was gonna because I was gonna go I was thinking your NBA player, but you yeah. want you want a loose NBA player, yeah, don't you? Yeah. Like you do. Le LeBron would be the most boring cunt to have breakfast with possible. <laughs> He's gonna motivate yeah. the fuck out of you. Yeah, he would. But I feel like this breakfast isn't set up. Oh well, you know, fucking LeBron and Obama, they might have a bit of chemistry going on. Yeah, they might and Charlie the boys and, the Charlie boys will be bro shaking. Be like, these what are these cunts up to? These fucking cunts. They need to chill the fuck out. Yeah, we'll go get some tiger blood on us, eh, Charlie? <laughs> he fucking lost the plot. I went for um, Trumper. Yeah, like that. 
Peterson, and Rogan. It is a good three, like, as a combination mm-hmm. together. It's going to be an interesting one. But, I mean, as a substitute, I had Mike Tyson there. You know? Oh, he's loose. He's loose. Yeah. Have you listened to his podcast with Rogan? Bits and pieces. I don't think I've sat down and watched the whole mm. thing, though. I've seen, like, I'd say over an hour of it, though. Pretty fucking crazy, bro. He was saying, like, he got hypnotized when he was 13 to unlock his inner animal and shit. Oh, yeah, no, I didn't know that. That's out of the gate, though. Crazy, eh? These cunts just fucked with him to make him a crazy cunt. Yeah, he got fucked with pretty hard, like. Because coaches did... and trainers and shit, they used to put, like, weights on his back to, so he wouldn't grow. When did he win the championship? He was, like, 18, I'm pretty sure. I think he was. Hey, hey, Google. When did Mike Tyson win the world heavyweight? According to Wikipedia, Tyson won the title by TKO in the second round and at the age of 20 years and four months became the youngest heavyweight champion in history. That's fucking young though, yeah, bro. 20. That's three, fucking young. Three years younger. Think about what you were doing when you were 20. Heavyweight. Oh, there's no way I was a heavyweight. No. <laughs> He's a fucking <laughs> monster. <laughs> Fuck, he must yeah. have been a tank, bro. Well, when, when was that? Back in like the 80s. Yeah, it must it? have been. Right. Mid 80s, I'd say. Jeez Louise. Um, fuck, have you seen the state of him when he came out of prison? Nah, wh- when oh, did he go to prison? He went to prison for, I'm pretty sure it was for raping a bitch, but he loves it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, but he, oh, he came out, he literally just worked out and did boxing in prison for like a year. Yeah. And came out massive. Like, he was massive beforehand. He came out jacked. Like, you can see in the first fight, he went to fight someone who was like, all right, but as soon as though he wasn't there, it made him look a wee bit better, the cunt that he was fighting. And he just like a death stared, like was staring into their soul, the whole thing. And knocked, knocked him out in the first round, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. God, he's yeah, a, no, he's crazy. A tattoo on the face. <laughs> he's yeah. opening a weed resort. Crack up. Where's, yeah. where's that? Uh, I don't know. Somewhere in America, I'm, I'm thinking presuming? Colorado. Yeah. But I'm not. Probably don't Colorado or on California that. or something, I'd say. But Yeah. But yeah, he's going to have like, have like his tigers and a couple of tigers there. <laughs> That's classic. What okay. part? What part of you says it's a great idea to buy a fucking tiger? <laughs> so funny, bro. He talks about that on the podcast. Yeah, he does a eh? Just like yeah. I've got all this money, Why not? and then the guys like you can buy some fucking crazy animals, and someone bought some crazy animals around him, and he's like, "I want a crazy animal." <laughs> what yeah. is it? There's more tigers in Texas than there are in, in the, the wild. entire wild of the world. Yeah, unreal. <laughs> <laughs> fucking stupid <laughs> It's so crazy yeah. do, you reckon they, do you reckon they rate the Texas climate? <laughs> Probably not I don't think <laughs> so Probably not where they're bred to be uh, Aren't they normally like rainforest yep. creatures? Yep, like you have jungles of Burma or something I don't know where they come from Fucking cool creatures though Oh, they're gangster Fuck yeah Gangster Lion v. Tiger Tiger Two lions v. Tiger <sighs> It's a good one well, you've probably got to go the Lions. Yeah. Just sheer numbers. You probably have to, wouldn't you? How about this one? Three Wolves v. Tiger. No, nah, I'm giving that to the Tiger. I think I'm going Tiger on that one too. I'm leaning towards I'm it. To the tiger. One more. Here we go. go gorilla versus Tiger. Silverback. No, nah, I'm, go- I'm going Gorilla. I'd pay to see that one. Same. I used to do... In America, it was when they were doing like the train tracks and shit like that. They yeah. had the, I don't know when that was, like 1800s. They used to bring over bears and, I'm sure it was bears and gorillas. And they had bears and gorillas fight as entertainment. It was like, that was like the circus act. Like bears to the and death. Gorillas. And who, I'm no, pretty that's sure a horrible the, thing to do, but who won? I'm pretty sure the bear won every single time. Really? Like every single time. Fuck, bears are fucking ruthless though. Yeah. How ruthless. They reckon, like, it would literally just, like, one swipe of its paw, and it would just, like, either break the neck or the skull or the jaw or something and just fuck it. Like, one hit I would have thought the same, done. though, you know? I would have thought if Gorilla well, just got yeah. one fucking... Yeah. Yeah, no, because they're gonna massive crush animals. As well. They're massive fucking animals, either way. They're so big. They're either so way. fucking big, bro. Yeah. God. Pretty, pretty sure polar bears are bigger than your grizzly as well. They're fucking rigs. Are they? Yeah. They're rigs. Fuck yeah, that's that's shit's crazy. Um, right, let's let's just do it, right? 
Let's get her out of the way. NBA, let's go. Who's winning in this year? Who's... Oh. You want to say Warriors is a safe bet, but it's not the fun bet, is it? It's not <laughs> like, fun. But, yes, yeah, the Warriors, yes. The yes. Warriors. Who's no, got the next best chance? Either conference, you know? who's Who could tip up the Warriors? There's a few teams that have got them sus now that, like, know how to play defense on them. Mm-hmm. Um, Rockets are pretty sharp against them, but it just comes down to if Harden shots hit. Yeah, yeah, it does. And quite often they don't in your playoffs. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, last year they should have had it. Yeah. I don't – Bucks, probably pretty good chance. I think that's who's making it out the East. Best record in the East? Yeah. You think that they're going to get through? I'm, I'm back in 76ers, bro. Real, sticking yeah. with it. Yeah, I'm sticking with it. I like them. I just reckon they won't for another year or two. Yeah, that's a fair, if, a fair call. Just don't know if they're going to keep those pieces there for a year or two, though. Mm. The East is fucking cool, though. Yeah, East is cool any of those four West. teams could win, eh? Like yeah. the Raptors, the Bucks, the Celtics, and yeah. the – yeah, no, no one's given no one's given the Nuggets anybody any time of day. No, they're second, and I'm not giving them any time of That's the day. That's what I mean. Either. People aren't even uh-huh. like giving them a time of day to get out the fucking first round. Oh, Man, like, I wouldn't be surprised. Who's seventh? Spurs. Spurs could take them down. Yeah, they could. Spurs could take anyone down at the yeah. end of the day. They're pretty sharp, and they got the Rosen. Pop. That's what. That's who they really have, isn't it? Pop. He's phenomenal. Hasn't. Hey Google. Has Greg Popovich made every NBA playoffs? On the website theguardian.com, they say, in fact, the Spurs have made the playoffs in 27 of the last 28 seasons, appeared in six NBA finals, the first in 1999 and the most recent in 2014, and have won five of them. Okay. I don't know how long he's been coaching for. Neither. I think, he's, I think he missed one year. Right. The first, the first year, because he didn't have Timmy D with him. Right, who who gives a shit anyway? 27 or nah. 28? Still Spurs is a friend. Fuck me, sideways. Jeremy yep. Lamb from deep. Fucking sharp. Fuck yeah, impressive franchise. Yeah. But no, they're not looking great at the moment. Um, uh, OKC? I know. They're also potential to upset pretty much any team on the day. But any team on the day, eh? It's uh, a game-to-game thing with them as yep. well, you know? It comes down to if Westy's just going to keep shooting dumb threes. Yeah. It, can't, well, it just comes down to if his shots are dropping, but they haven't been really dropping. Last month he's been dropping. I'm they pretty sure all February, I'm pretty sure That's I saw three 40-point 40, 40 games. Is he averaging a triple-double? Yep. Easy. <laughs> Easy. That's three years little, in a row. Three years in a row. No one thought he was going to do it for one you year. Can't, you can't fucking deny that shit. No. Nah. No, fuck the haters. And he's he's getting, averaging a triple-double, bro. And... He brought Paul George in. Like, I can understand doing it when you're by yourself. Yeah, yeah. Now he's got another superstar PG, who's with him. playing better than him. Yep. He's playing out of his yep. fucking skin. MVP. Who's MVP this year? It's got to be Giannis for me. I want Paul George to get it. I don't think he will, but I want him to. He's cool, eh? Yeah. I've always liked Paul George. Yeah. But Giannis. And yeah. Giannis has fucking played oh, sick, bro. Giannis is filthy. What's wrong and, with And, you know, like, Harden has a shout, but I don't think they'll nah, give it to him for back-to-backs. They, nah, they won't. It's, he hasn't deserved it for back-to-backs. Like, nah. You've almost got to have a better season than you won the year beforehand, if you know what I mean. I tell you. But crazy. What is it? Yeah, no, oh, he's, no, he stopped it now. I think stopped it was it. yesterday or the day before he didn't break his – he broke his 30-point scoring record. It was something like 20, it was in the tw- high 20s, early 30s. Yeah, yeah. Games consecutive. Ooh, was... Hey, Google. How many games did James Harden score 30 points or more in? On the website NBA.com, they say, after 32 consecutive games of scoring 30 or more points, though, that run came to an end in the Houston Rockets' 119-111 to home win against the Atlanta Hawks last night. Last night, yeah, there you go thirty-two of the bastards. That's no fuck around. A couple, a couple. That is no fuck around. I'm enjoying the old Google. It's a bit like fucking Jamie on Rogan's podcast. <laughs> Something, except you don't have to like pay him. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, I was, yeah, um, yeah. Well, who do you, you reckon that Giannis will get MVP? Or yeah, I reckon he will get it. But I still would have liked to see Paul George. Yeah, right. And it's almost just because of his injury. Yeah, same. Like, the comeback story. That, the count snapped his leg. He fucking the... more than snapped his leg, you know? Oh, it's the fucking yeah. worst break I've seen. <laughs> like, Gordon Hayward was bad. bad. There was no Paul George. Jeez. No Paul George. 
Who else blows me away? Sean Livingston. Oh yeah, you seen that one? Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen it, but I've heard about oh, it. Is it bad? Know. Yeah. Nah, he like he borderline got his leg amputated. That's how bad it was. He ripped like everything. He just did his knee. He blew uh, his knee out. But he did, did all like... the tendons, all the ligaments. This during a game? Or? Yeah. Did it just? Yeah. Ugh. Not a pretty one either. There's some nasty ones. Yeah. Um. Let's get back to um. I wanted to talk about the All Star Weekend. Yep. What are your thoughts on the All Star Weekend? I quite enjoyed. NBA, I quite is... enjoy. I quite enjoyed the All Star Game. Yeah. I like the mix up of drafting and shit now as well. Yeah, I like, like that. Bit of a change up keeps it interesting. Yeah, I feel that. Um. I don't know about. I'm a bit here's the dunk contest. Does my head in a bit. Mm, I wish they. I just wish they got better names for it. For like, there's better dunkers in the. Oh, yeah, bigger the, names. Yeah. yeah. But did you see LeBron doing I something. Know. Giannis. Le, LeBron and well, when old Bronny James Jr. comes in the fucking league, <laughs> both of them do it together or some shit. Yeah, but LeBron's going to lose his hops by then. Yeah, no, nah, he's already Look, lost his hops. Give us, if you could pick four people to go in the dunk contest, who are you going? Probably going Giannis, just because he's massive, but I don't know how flashy he is. I feel like he's going to be able to get some shit done. Yeah. Um... They can't probably fucking fly from the three-point line. Yeah. Get your rusty Westbrook in there as well. Yep. yep. Can't just... It's going to be good. He's just... He hurts ferocious. the rim. Yeah. <laughs> He's a fucking animal. Yeah. Um, well, no, even you... you oh, I was going to say you Donovan Mitchell, but he did it last year, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. It was not bad. No, it wasn't bad at all. Um, well, they had... Was it... Um, I'm pretty sure Giannis came out and said that he was thinking about doing it next year. Oh, yeah? And then Donovan said... If if he's in, if Janice is in, he's in as well. Right. So that's two of them. And then there's also a rumour of Aaron Gordon and Zach Levine oh, having man. one last wee standoff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That would, because that'd be sick for. Yeah. They were fucking dope. Yeah, Zach like, is pretty hard to deny, you know? Yeah. But still, and so is Aaron. Aaron. That Aaron, one dunk that Aaron Gordon did. At, over that, over the fucking, he still didn't win. Yeah. He didn't win that. Because it's. They just fucking cap it out at fifty. Yeah, you know yeah, they've already they've already said that was the best dunk. As soon as they give someone a fifty, like there's you Hang can't better. be better. Yeah, they and they're too they're too um, what is it lenient? Yeah, on and the they, tens. and they give you like a thirty five for a miss dunk. Yeah, a zero. No, that's a zero. Did you dunk? Nah, it's a dunk contest. <laughs> it's a zero, can't. Imagine if I you don't care about creativity. Imagine if you were in the three point contest and you missed all your threes. Nah, we'll give him a ten just for. <laughs> Just for the lulls, like yeah. he tried. The fuck, eh? Hey? Um, I think I would like uh, if I had to pick four for the dunk contest, I'd go Braun, Russell, Giannis, and yeah, probably Zachy. Zach's pretty sharp. Zach is pretty sharp. I'm just trying to think of it. someone else who hasn't been done enough. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. Is Wiggins gonna throw some shit down? Wiggins is a good shout. I think he would. Mm. He's still young. He's still got them hops. He does. You know, overall for the All-Star weekend, though, I wish that fucking All-Star game was serious. I'm hearing you. And they, I like, understand why it's not. It's like their little break, mid-season break, and yeah. they deserve a fucking break because they play all the fucking time, time. these yeah. guns. They live and breathe basketball. That's all they do. Yeah. but it's like, And they, take, they do take it seriously, but they take it serious in bits and pieces. Yeah, well, no, like, there's no defense really. Nah, they want to win. Yeah, but they don't. They don't really, really care. Win. Like they've tried, they've tried to like incentivize it by putting in, um, um pay for whoever wins, like an extra yeah, bonus. Yeah. But, but like it's not. And it's, it? it's charities. Oh, is it charities? Yeah, I, I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought it was just for them. But even then, though, it might be both. Even then, though, like what is it? It'll be like a hundred grand or some shit, two hundred grand. And the scheme of things Cash. for them, that's nothing. Pocket money. That's nothing. Oh. It's chump change. That'd be cool if it was fucking serious, bro. If these yeah. guys actually were just... They created a rivalry somehow. I'm hearing you. And That's why of... it would be easier to create a rivalry if it was East versus West. West. Yeah. There's a bit more competition to yeah. it, but... Yeah, I think a bit, it was getting a bit stagnant that way. Like, they really were paying no, no defense whatsoever. Yeah, fuck. At least they play some defense now. It's just minimal. Yeah, a little bit. Maybe there's a bit more of a rivalry now because... Uh, when they do captains, the captains like feel personally obliged, like it's them losing. Yeah, I'm hearing. They're kind of like, can we not 
Can we not lose? And a lot boys? of the time, there's people who play on the same team that are playing against each other as well with that new yeah. form. Like, yeah. Um, Clay, Clay, Clay Steph. versus Steph. Yeah, it's that cool was classic. Steph just slapped four point four point play over top of Clay. Yeah, rate that. Right. Poor bastard. Rate that. Okay, that was good NBA. Let's uh let's have a little break, I reckon. We've got through your first rivet. We'll come back and get on the rivet banter. Like hey, that. do you have a recommended tune for the for the break for the young listeners out there? I'm going to go your Breeze Blocks. Breeze Old Jay. By Alt J. I quite enjoy a bit of Alt J, Breeze Blocks. Breeze Blocks by Alt J. We're coming on up. We'll be back in a tick. Stay tuned, folks. Catch you later. G'day, folks. We're back. Hope you enjoyed a bit of Alt J. They're not bad. I'm not massive on Alt J myself, but they're not. Horrible. I just like your breeze blocks, more like or less. Breeze blocks, just does it for you. Gets the juices flowing. Yeah, right. Fair enough, mate. Yeah, gets me up in the morning. Yeah, right. Well, you might not be aware, but I do this segment at the start of part two called Curious Questions. Okay? How curious are we talking? Pretty curious. That's what I like to hear. Fucking curious, mate. Right, so the curious question for today is, um, what are human, humanity's chances of surviving in a thousand years? That's not a bad question. Have a ponder. It's and quite curious. Open up a nice bottle of Johnny Walker, Black Label. Curtis. Just, it, yeah, courtesy of Duty Free. Duty Free. Got to love a bit of Duty Free. Yeah, it's good for you. Good stuff. And it's we've good got for the you. ice ready. We're good to go. We're going on the rocks. And just go for um, it, Jaden. You I'd ponder. S- I'd say humanity's chances of surviving in a thousand years probably comes down to more what we do within the next 200. Like, you have to obviously look at climate change and things like that, moving forward in those aspects. Um, yeah, more or less just looking after the environment and things like that. But you've also got the chances of expanding. Like, old Trump, old Trumpy boy, looking at, what's he making, space war, what's it, space, space army? Did you not hear that? Enlightening. He's putting, he's making a space army of people to go and, like, it's pretty much like a military aspect so you know how you have your navy for your sea you have your army for your land you have your air force for your air obviously he's doing another separate division from those three which is only space thinks it's moving into space yep space warfare yeah star wars yeah pretty much predicted it because it's kind of at the moment i suppose tucked under between army and air force Mm. but he's just going to give it its own section so it'll have its own budget and things like that as well which isn't a bad idea. Oh, it's not a bad idea. But it just depends on how aggressive he decides to be with it. Is he going up there to fucking start trying to send nukes down on cunts from space, or is he? And how much is this shit actually going to cost? Yeah, I'd say a lot. It's not quite cheap. a lot. Yeah, I'd say. I imagine the weaponry for space is quite. Yeah. Oh, Star Warsy. I mean, I have no other frame of reference. Yeah, I'm hearing you. I don't know what they'd do. Well, they nukes work in space. In space, so. Do they? Yep. Right. Yep. Don't need oxygen Let's to do put a nuke. Add them anywhere. Yep. Doesn't matter. She'll still do the same thing. Jeez Louise, people, that's, geez. that's potentially our current best way of travelling space. That's the fastest we can go with the technology we have now is literally you drop nukes behind a spacecraft and the energy from the nuke Explosion. powers you forward so fast. It's like the best, best chance we've got of reaching somewhere else would be doing that method at the, with the technology we've got. Yeah, right. They reckon 20, 30 years from now we'll probably be able to do something a bit better. I'd say so. It seems to be the, the trend. Yeah, it's where they're going. It's Technology not going seems to keep going. <laughs> not backwards. Anyway, chances. I'm talking to percentage Ch- here. You're looking percentages. <sighs> thousand years from now. Humanity's chance. I think survival. good. I think we're pretty good. Hmm? I reckon I reckon I'd give it like a eighty five. Eighty five. Eighty five percent chance of humanity still kicking in a thousand years. Yeah. Because you know, as we're just moving forward too fast. I don't know if the population will be as big as what we have now in a thousand years. I think it'll be a lot smaller. Mm. If it's bigger, it'll be because we've inhabited other planets, I think. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. If we live for a thousand years, we've probably colonized another planet. So, yeah, at least the moon. Yeah, yeah. We're definitely moving around the space a bit more, I'm thinking. Yeah. Um I'm gonna give it a an under fifty. I'm gonna go for a Forty percent chance. Really? Yeah. Not a fan. Not pessimistic, mate. I'm not keen on this AI shit, bro. Robots and stuff. I'm hearing you. I I'm understand. Like heaps of them. I'm thinking you're thinking like Star Wars. 
And I'm thinking like iRobot. Yeah, I'm hearing you because they're a bit mental. They, have, they the way could they're be. going at the moment. Fuck yeah, they're crazy. Like, if we live for a thousand years, I think it's inevitable that we're going to be multi-planetary species. Yep. There's going to be robots. Yep. That are fucking mean. Yep. Like, and that might have even in, been integrated just, with humans. We yep. might not even be humans anymore. Yep. Oh. Which I would count humanity's done. Like, if, if we're would cyborgs. You? Yep. That's humanity done. We're a different mm. species now. You know? We've evolved, yep. so to speak, or degraded, whatever way you want to look at it. Mm. And then I think you also got to consider... Uh, I, I, I mean, there is a nuke threat, but I, don't, I think nukes are going to be chill. Same. I think almost the whole world's stuck into a nuclear stalemate. Like, yeah. If yeah. one person sets off the nuke, they're just going to get... Bombarded it's, yeah, by it's nukes not afterwards, it. it's not worth it. Like you're gonna ruin your whole country in fucking thirty seconds. And the world. Yeah. This is gonna yep. be a domino effect. Yep. Once one goes, they all yeah. go. Yeah. But it's just who's gonna be the tipping point? Who wants to be the, make the first move? Yeah. Well, if we we gave it a conservative uh, eighty-five, forty. Well, if I said just said forty-five, meet in the middle. What's that? Sixty-five. Yep. Sixty-five percent. It's not it's bad. Good. It's not bad. We'll, we'll take, take it. We'll take that. <laughs> On a side note, can you remember last night Jordan Peterson talking about um, the human consciousness yeah. continuing to go f- like further down in the future? Yeah, yeah. What do you think about that? Was cool. That was. What cool do you think about if you could transfer your consciousness into a robot? Yeah, well, so then you wouldn't have any physical limitations. No. So you got your arm blown off. What's that? Okay, I'll just go into a whole new human. It's not actually a human, but it feels but the same. Robot, but it is. The robot's so good that it is a human. Yeah, essentially a human. I don't like it. I think that what makes us human is the fact that there's limitations on life. Yep. I like that. Huh? Otherwise, it takes away the risk factor. We're kind of, yeah, we're kind of taking, putting an immortality into the game. Yeah. And that's definitely going to increase yep. the populations. Yep, it is. <laughs> Death's kind of crucial, bro. It is. It's real crucial. It's in that sort of bloody one real given crucial. thing about humanity. But I suppose no, you're going to die. I suppose that's the other thing, though, that I presume re- robots wouldn't have as much resources mm. to Why? sustain them. I don't know. Well, I suppose once they're built, you, all you've got the metal bits and pieces for your chips and things like that. Yeah. But like oil, I don't know what they'd be fueled on electricity. But it's not food. Fuck, maybe they could get fueled on oxygen. Potential. That'd be unreal. Or any, anything, like maybe. Maybe there's a better chemical out there. Like, what's the one that takes up most of our atmosphere? Nitrogen. Maybe they could get fueled on nitrogen. Yep. Yeah, that'd be a phenomenal option if they could come up with something like that. I mean, and that would kind of suss the whole, uh, if we're running out of oxygen from... Yeah. Don't we get most yeah. of our oxygen from the it's, ocean? Yeah, majority of it's like 90%, 95% yeah. of it. It's, so it's some... actually not really the trees. No. Nah. If we're running out of water, maybe we could transfer the water... Yeah. The sea, o- the ocean yeah. into drinkable water, fresh water. Yep. And then we don't need oxygen anymore. But I feel like there's going to be repercussions to that. Yeah, it's very, it's, very it's simplistic it, 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 analysis. It, it doesn't sound that foolproof. It doesn't like, sound. Like surely there's there's some there's some obstacle there that we. <laughs> I'm sure there's some scientific barriers <laughs> yeah. going on. Oh fuck! We actually never thought about that. Can we just do that. <laughs> yeah. That'd be all right. Oh, have you heard that Scruffy Chin Works Park podcast? <laughs> no, we're Jayden sorted. Heaps knows something. We're sorted. <laughs> hey, anyway. But rude not to bloody are we? Cheers to humanity. Not too bad. Beautiful. I say with a skull on my face, but that's kind of part of it. No, I, I've is. really been digging the whole straights vibe lately. Um, yeah, same. I'm a big spirits fan. I'm kind of liking how bitter the spirits are when you drink it straight. Yep, you're getting old. That's what that is, Ruben. Is that a fucking like scientific yeah, no, it thing? Is, it is. Like older older people you look enjoy. for that kick more. It's probably not dangerous. necessarily the kick from the alcohol or anything, but it's more. I think your taste buds develop more and become a bit more mature. Yeah. And, I feel uh, like it would be like maybe I am looking for the alcoholic kick a bit more. Yeah, potential. Like, like taste buds wise, yep. you know. I think it just you you can handle it a bit more. Yeah. Right. I think it's also less liquid. I'm down yeah, on that. Yeah, I know. I'm not a big fan of you smack. You smack your 15 beers and you're yeah. feeling a bit bloated. You're like, no. It makes you tired as well. Yeah. Just, I don't know. I wake up feeling better after spirits too. 
Yeah, Unless I get cunted, yeah. which is definitely a possibility. It's a high possibility on spirits. Yeah, it is. You start off on spirits and you're like, oh, fine. We'll go a bit more. Yeah, yeah. No. It, the mix has just increased. Yeah. But if Until you go for go for on the rocks from the start, yeah. I mean, the mix can't, can't get, get more better. or less. <laughs> less ice, I suppose. Less ice, but... Eh? That's the other reason I think you get less hangovers, because quite often you're mixing spirits with either Sugar. water or ice. Yeah. Oh, no, I reckon just... I reckon the... Sh- you get more hangover, hungover if you're mixing it with sugar. You yep. know. Yep. I'll give you that. I don't. Coke I don't think. Like, I don't think it's the fact that you're mixing it with water or ice. I think it's just the fact that you're taking out more sugar. I reckon, I reckon it's both though. You think there's an yep. element of getting a little bit of de- hydration, hydration? Yep. At the same time. I don't know. I don't buy that, eh? But I, it could well be. It could bloody well be, Jaden. I, I like to think so. If not, my theory's fucked. I think it's uh, use the placebo, mate. If it, it works, it works. <laughs> it fucking works. How good is placebo? You know? Unreal. Do you ever actually just try to trick yourself? Yeah, into... heaps, heaps of the time. No, it's working. Like... It's working, bro. It's working. Now I'm better. Try not think about it. Have like a Panadol and you're like, yeah. oh, broken leg, nah, it's better. Trust me, nah, it's all right. It's, it hasn't helped whatsoever. It hasn't. Imagine that. Imagine if it was just all placebo. It's crazy how... How they actually, that's how they conduct tests as well, you know? Yeah. They don't tell them if they're going to... Got the right one or not. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's unreal the amount of shit that works. Great like idea. That. Brain, yeah. Great idea. Otherwise, you're going to influence... Strong as the mind, eh? Yeah. But no, it's fucking... You yeah, know, placebo effect's crazy. Yeah, it is. Um, what about the whole chat that um, people think different spirits do different things to them? I think that's placebo. That, yep. I think so as well. I think you've built that up in your head, eh? Yeah, I think, I think that's alcohol is alcohol. Yeah. No? I think people get different like levels of drunk off different spirits. If you like, but that's just because of how they drink them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, just, yeah. Some people can handle smacking back a bottle of whiskey easy. Some people prefer tequila. Some people prefer beer. But I think there's so many variables. Like, it's I how, think, what you've yeah. ate that day, how yep. hydrated you are, yep. what the w- temperature is, yep. what how, you're doing, how you're drinking it. Yep. Like how, yeah, how quickly, what it's with. And then some people can just have one bad experience on gin or something or yep. anything. And they're just like, gin's just not good for me, bro. So. Is gin not good for you, or do you just think you're not good on gin? You just then, got fucked up. Yeah. Because so I've had heaps of people that they're like, no, I can't handle that spirit. And you get drunk with them on that spirit, and you're like, you're fine. Yeah. Nothing wrong with them. And then you start telling them, like, oh, shit, like, you're fine this time. Yeah. And then they're like, start getting it, because they're drunk, if you know what I mean. It's like, oh, I get emotional when I drink rum. I know. Or something, and you're like, they start drinking rum. You're like, you're, like, you're fine. You're not even emotional. That's what I mean. have, like, one more, and then they're like, oh. They almost want to prove themselves right. Yeah. I'm I've got this you. right. You know, it does. This it does make me more emotional. No. I just need to look at this. What you got to say for it? Disc. The old disc is getting full, broco. It's not what I'm we'll after. Just, we'll just go. We'll just Check go and see how we go. We'll see if we get the note if, when it is full. If it gets shitted on, we'll just go for the audio from old mate. So maybe we'll turn that. Fucking turn the old heaty off. She's cranking. She's fucking toasty outside, boys. Oh, oh. Pretty fucking loud, actually. You know, now that I've turned it off, Ooh. I imagine it was probably in the audio, or we took a bit Ooh. too big of a one there, was it? Ooh. So you're going to for today? You're going to go hit the zoo? Yep. Thinking about a zoo up. What's your favourite zoo you've been to? I think I've only been to one. Oh. I don't know. I've been to a... I don't know. I kind of can't even remember the zoos. It's bad as it sounds. I've been to like probably three zoos in the Brisbane area. Yeah, right. I've never been to any other... Oh, a runner park. Not bad either. You'd call that a zoo. I suppose you would. Yeah. Well, I don't know what else you'd call it. Yeah. I don't know. I suppose... I don't know. Yeah. Have you ever been to Australia Zoo? Did we do it? Didn't we go there in rugby? That's your that's your Steve Irwin yeah. jobs, eh? Yeah. No, it's not bad. I don't mind the old Australian. Give it zoo. to that probably. Give that the cheese. Yeah. This zoo was pretty cool. I haven't really looked around it. Yeah. I just went to that. I went to one gig there and went through the Predator. Predatorville. Yep. It's probably the probably <laughs> most exciting, but yeah. It was cool. It was all I don't good. know about like, a gig in a zoo seems like a strange matchup. I wonder if animals get fucked off at that. Yeah, I think I think you would. Because not all the of them, bats, but majority. I feel like the bats were going crazy. Don't they have like extremely good hearing? Yeah, like e- echolocation or something like that. 
I don't really know, but it just feels like they're not going to rate it. Yeah, no, nah, they wouldn't. They wouldn't enjoy the loud music. What sort so of, fucking many, bro. What sort of gig was it? Chill as fuck. Ah, it's probably not as bad then. I can't imagine. Do you like, think they? Do you think they differentiate between different types of music, or yep. if they just yep. like noise? No, nah, I think they differentiate. Apparently, dogs <laughs> like reggae, which is an interesting fact. Whether or not that's a fact, I'm just making that up. Yeah, I've read somewhere dogs like reggae. <laughs> Yeah, I'd, I'd say it probably changes with each species. Individual. Yeah, yeah, probably does. Same as every other person. Yeah, within the species. Music. Yep. Yeah. Um, it's probably just what whatever it's probably their all, owner listens to. Yeah, I was going to say, it's probably their learned behavior. Like, yeah. if they've been brought up around death metal, they probably don't mind the sound of that. Yeah, it probably means that it's probably comfort. It's home, yeah. Yeah. It's probably either chaos or comfort for them, you know? Yep, depending on if it's a familiar noise. Yeah. I do. I can kind of understand how animals would like think, music like reggae and shit like that. Yeah. Just because it's like just seems re- relaxing. But you know, regardless. they could interpret it completely different. They you have no idea how they interpret. Things. Death metal could be the. Ah. Uh, yep. It's, it's the, I just needed to sit down and have a have a beer and listen to some death mm. metal. You know. Chill the fuck yeah. out. I don't know if you've ever seen MythBusters when they did. They grew plants and put them in greenhouse like glass houses mm-hmm. and. They play different music to different to each of the like glass houses to see how the plants would grow. Yeah, I did that in my fucking science fair. Oh, real? But obviously, I didn't I did, do it yeah. well. Yeah, it was like fucking year seven. Yeah, you're right. But apparently, they seem to enjoy the softer side of things. Yeah, but that's what I got. My plant liked classical the most. Yeah, I think that was. I'm pretty sure that's what it came back as classical and didn't didn't like death metal and that. But it's still um, they still grew. It's not yeah, gonna right. kill them. Yeah, okay, yeah. It's just they were better with the softer side. Yeah. yeah, that's interesting. You know, if I had to pick a music for plants, I'm definitely picking classical. Cool. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. For dogs, yeah. I'm getting on that reggae. I can feel that. Chill reggae. the chill vibe for what the dogs. What do you think cats are about? <sighs> Almost like a bit of smooth jazz. Yeah, I'm hearing you. Get your sex out for the boys. Yeah. Get your sex out for the boys. Get it in there. Um, what is your favorite animal? Have one? Not really. I've, I don't know, animals that I enjoy. Probably giraffe, because I kind of look like one. Massive <laughs> fucking neck. <laughs> Goosey. Goosey <laughs> for the boys. The old goose lager went mad last night. Yeah, we had a wee goose lager. Goose IPA. Yeah. You fucking hated it. I hated it. <laughs> hated it. Fucking Almost nearly spewing cat. Yep. I was. What it's was good. that about? I don't know. I think sometimes I just get like that when I drink. Hey, it's fucking like it's not even like doesn't agree with your stomach. Yeah, it's not the taste of it. Mm. I sometimes wonder if it's a mental game as well. Mm. When it comes to smacking back alcohol, and you just like mentally know it's not going to taste that good. Yeah. Your stomach's just prepared for it. Do you reckon that that's uh, the proclivity for that to happen has increased with age? Yeah, I don't, I've yeah I don't know what's caused it because it didn't used to be like that. Yeah. Back in the van days, I used to love Buff and Mac Vodies and all that sort of jazz. Fuck, let's throw it back to the van for a second. It was iconic. Fuck, it was iconic. We sussed <laughs> that shit out. We used to scare money from people at the lunch line. Fuck, can you check us a dollar? Honestly, I just need a cookie or something. You get a dollar off them and you just go put it in that fucking money tin. <laughs> and we got like two, three hundred bucks just from scaving off people at the canteen <laughs> oh, line. Fuck. And just brought a, um, it was the Rego for the van. <laughs> Brought the rego for the van so we could piss up for another six months. <laughs> Fucking hell. That van was sick, though. Um, oh, you yeah, know, we had to not. You have a standout to... night? I'm going to throw the fucking standout night to getting into fever. And we had fucking Min Mint? Oh, fuck. Remember we that? Can... <laughs> <laughs> what? Fuck, that must be hectic that... for her, bro. Yeah. She would have been. Took the took the Asian exchange student yeah. that was like seventeen, <laughs> Thailand. and Thailand exchange student out clubbing in Dunedin when we were all like sixteen, seventeen. You were probably fifteen. 15 I was going to say I was potentially fifteen. We all just jumped the back fence. Jumped the back fence of Fever. Yeah, I think Fever's closed now, bro. It's a different bar. It's, it's a Mexican, Mexican bar. Mexican bar, yeah. Mexican restaurant. I went to a BYO there. Yeah, yeah they still do piss ups. There's, there's fucking yeah. there's stripper pole still there. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. All the dance floor's still going. Yeah. That dance floor was legendary. Yeah. Oh, I always rated Fever on the way to town, you know? I was a big fan of Fever. 
It's just that midway point where you could just stop and have a wee shaker. Oh, shakers were fucking. They were good. Um, I think monkeys opened back up. Really? I heard a rumor. Is it? <laughs> yeah, get the six pit get going. Oh, that's good for you. That's good for you. I tossed up going to the Pilates class that they used to do in there. They used to do something. It was like Pilates or yoga After or some shit. Post, um, this... can't rain away with all the money and. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, post all his bars went bankrupt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, what was your favourite bar back in the day then? The Dunners days. Probably, probably, what well, fuck? I can't even remember what the fuck it was called. Around the corner by Macca's, the back of Macca's. Urban. Urban Factory is what <laughs> I was a fan of. I loved a bit of Urban. She was dusty. Yeah, she was dusty. But you used to get your $5, Solid, was yeah. it $5 Yagi's? Yeah. It was six dollars, and they used right, to give right. out those fucking tokens on the corner, so you piece of paper yeah, for a dollar right. off, dollar off any drink, yeah. and you just grab like twenty of them off the cunt. So what? You got five dollar Jaegers with just Red Bulls, or yeah, Red Bull. I think pretty sure it was Red Bull Jager. It wasn't. It might have been Mother. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, I mean, for me, probably. Fuck, Beaver was good. Beaver was good. Beaver was good. And Monkey's got a few memories as well, like the oh, jump man. up the ladder through the fire escape. Ooh, that was a van night too, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Was that with your divers? It was. It was with your diver. It was with your diver. Nice one, Marky. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Van does crack up. <laughs> yeah, no, we had some stupid Remember when we did that. the harker outside? <laughs> <laughs> like your post Aussie tours. God, we were so fucking. Yeah. Were you there for that trip for New Year's up to Wanaka? Yeah, dog. Yeah, wasn't dog. A, wasn't a good time. Parking up on the fucking <laughs> waterfront. Waterfront. Keys gone. Keys gone. Shit. Oh, <laughs> Wanaka. There's been a few New Years up there, hasn't there? Yeah. I can just remember when they came along and tried to do us for. Freedom, freedom camping, camping. <laughs> we're just like we're awake and Jumbo is just like we're awake we can't fucking go anywhere you can't do us for freedom camping we didn't shit in the fucking beach anyway <laughs> <laughs> he's just like going off at them and fuck I just lost it <laughs> oh crack up god good times good times hey do you want to fucking share your oh, fuck I rated your new year's not this year the year before you know how you went to Bay Dreams and shit in the car, like. Oh, Bay Dreams was. Stupid. Can you just fucking? Do you want a brief rundown of that, or do you want a quick run... rundown? Oh, just see what happens. Just start giving the rundown and see what pops into the head, mate. I'm not going to use names because it's probably going to get a bit ruthless. Yeah, we'll keep I'll the use, names I'll, out. I'll use first letters. Okay, first yeah. letter of the names. Okay. Keep it simple. <laughs> yeah. So we were cruising up. It was me, me, D, C, and B. Yeah. No, B, D. A couple of Ds. A couple of Ds. We'll call one D, we'll call one J. Okay, yeah. Um, and me. We cruised, did, did the boost up in, oh, fuck, no, there was heaps of us, actually. Um, and we went and fucking, for a start, Started we picked up in Cluth, right? Picked in Cluth, cruised up from Cluth to Dunners, had a piss up in Dunners, a bit of a joe out at a mate's place, old Jay's house, with A, I forgot A was there as well. Right. Um... And got went for a cruise, and I think we got up to about Christchurch. No, it wasn't even Christchurch. We were like Timaru, and stopped for a piss stop, got out, jumped back in the car, probably got to Christchurch, and D remembered that he had left his hoodie back in Timaru with a lot of drugs in it. <laughs> <laughs> like everything for the week, yeah. In the pocket, so in the hoodie, yeah. So oh. we're like, "Fuck, okay, no, no point going back because we weren't going to make the Inter Islander if we turn back around." Oh, so we didn't have the time, nah. Because you're heading up to Bay Dreams and Tauranga, eh? that yep. was the yep. that was Tarong, destination. Yep. And so we got past Christchurch to about Kaikoura, and oh. old C was getting getting a bit pissed and just got a bit into his story, like getting emotional about, like, I don't know, he's given someone a hiding in town or some shit, telling yeah. the story, and went for like a punch, whiplashed, smashed the windscreen of the car. <laughs> so he had a smashed windscreen from Kaikoura. Did the boost up, finally got well, to... Um, completely smashed or just cracked? Cracked his side. It was like a perfect one knuckle hit the windscreen and whipped, and it just went spiderweb across the windscreen. Passenger? 
Passenger did half, I'd say, maybe a quarter of the windscreen. Okay, yep. So she was Didn't, still drivable. Yep, yeah, I usually still drivable. Got to the inter-island and did the boost across there. They tried to get a sober driver. They tried to get one of us to drive because the sober driver was too drunk, but he was actually a sober driver. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, no, nah, you guys will be fine. Oh, what, so, the inter-islander tried yeah, to do inter-islander that? inter-islander was like, oh, do you mind getting someone a bit more sober to drive? Did you get the morning one? Yep. Or, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm sure it was the morning. Got off, did the boost up to Bay Dreams. Had a good old time at Bay Dreams. Bit of a shindig, bit of a party up. How many days did it take you to get from Cluth to Bay Dreams? What, two? Oh, you fucking boosted it. We hustled, but we stopped. Well, we got to... Well, we left one morning, like half, like 12-ish... So you leave Island. on like the first or first of Jan? Yeah, it would have been like the first or the second. Yeah. Did the boost up at the Inter Island, then we did a straight boost from near to Taupo, stayed in the like lake side of Taupo. Yeah. Um literally just on airbeds on the lake side. Didn't have anything <laughs> else. Didn't have any any accommodation sorted. <laughs> nice side. Just crashed out. That was no, that was New Year's. So we must have oh, left the thirty okay, yeah. we must have left like the thirtieth. Right. 31st, we got to Taupo, stayed there, then did the boost up to Bay Dreams because we did the pre- pre-show for Bay Dreams as well. Ah, uh, yep, yeah, yeah. Got there, had a good old time, went to leave, dropped J and A off. It was Jay's car as well, quietly. Yeah. So did the boost down with, it was me, me, C and D at the time. Yeah. And Back from Tauranga. Back from Tauranga. Yeah. And we went for, we were cruising back through Taupo and I was driving actually and saw, I've got a couple of mates that are from Tauranga to Nui. So we, pretty much a shithole of a town yeah. in the middle of nowhere and saw, told, saw the sign to go to Tauranga to Nui. I was like, we're going. We're yeah. going to Tauranga to Nui and see what it's like. It's like your bigger version of Kai. That's how you describe <laughs> it. Not Flash. Um, went for a cruise through there and we ended up getting the Forgotten Highway. What? It's called the Forgotten Highway. So it's a big stretch of road oh, right. that's... Well, that's because you forgot about it, mate. <laughs> um, it's called the Forgotten Highway, and it's pretty much like... It's literally a highway, but it's gravel is how bad it gets. Like, it's a piece of shit. Goes oh. to the middle of nowhere. You end up going through fucking... Um, fucking Moana? Some, fuck or something. Something strange. Right. Um, and it's like its own republic. It's, well, it calls itself separate from New Zealand. It's out the gate. Really? Yep. This is the place. Yep. How do you say it? Tawamanui. No, nah, not Tawamanui. Oh. It's after that. Um, fuck or something. I want to say fuck, fuck a Moana, but it's not fuck a Moana. Something like that. Mm, fuck a mana. Yeah, I was going to say on your fuck a manas. <laughs> um, went for a crew. Like, they have a dog for a mayor. That's how bad it is. Dog's <laughs> been the mayor for like the last fucking 10 years. It was a, it was a lamb before Makes the dog. Big it was a lamb before the dog. Right. Yeah. right. So they're onto it. <laughs> um, got probably about 10 minutes Animal out farm. of Get like 10 minutes out of there. And I went to change the um, radio station and flicked my eyes. By the way, torrential rain. Pissing down with yeah. rain like I've never seen before. Bit kind of January like, rain. Yeah, but also yeah. hot as fuck outside. Yeah. Um, everyone's fucking coming down, not feeling good, real hungover. Yeah. We had to change the music because we'd listened to the same song about three times. Went to give her a wee skip, took my eyes off the road, looked back up. Oh, we're in a ditch. <laughs> <laughs> How are we going? This is you. Di- this is Behind me driving. Wheel. Yep. In the ditch. We're just like, oh, fuck. Was anyone else in the passenger seat? Why yep. didn't they change the song? That's That was the argument. That was a discussion we've had ever since. <laughs> Why did I not get the person in the passenger seat to do it? It's their job. You just felt like. But I was just, it took was on just the reach over, press a button, but I took my eyes off the road. Straight. Yeah. It, was on a, it was on a hairpin corner as well. It wasn't, yeah. it wasn't the best time to take my eyes off the road. <laughs> In and a ditch. Slid off into a ditch. Not like your deep ditch. Like we weren't fucked, but it was just like we were bellied, so we weren't getting anywhere. Yeah. Tried to get out, and we had the boys pushing, and I drove in hindsight shouldn't have because it was better drivers than me. Yeah. And I then turned the wheel into the. So it was like a rock face like that with a um, dip down there, and we ended up there. The road's up there. So I tried to turn to come out, pushed with the wheel that was up against the rock face into the wheel and popped it. Pop the wheel. Pop the tire. Trying Torrential to get rain. Let's, rem- let's remember pissing that. Down, pissing down. Like, fuck. How, how are we going to get out of this? Luckily, probably about two minutes later, a camper van cruised past. Yeah. We went back. Tried to get them to give us a hand. They weren't that keen because it was pissing down. But they're like, oh, we'll drop you back at that old town just down the way. Yeah. Um, Took that? Yeah. Went for a cruise back there. And 
I had to like, I was like, fuck, this is going to be like the middle of nowhere, mungy mob town, real small town, looked real dodgy. But went to the pub, they were just lovely cunts. Yeah. All of them just classic old farmers. Do you know the town? Yeah, fucking Moana's or whatever. Oh, it's what called. It, oh yeah. it's that same town. Yeah, yeah fucking Moana's. Yeah. And cruising in the pub there. And I was just like, fuck, I don't even know who to ask. So I just went and asked the guy behind the bar. I was like, oh, yo, do you reckon there's, we've just had a wee crash up the road probably five minutes. Do you reckon you can find, like, do you know if there's anyone around that would tow us out? Oh, I'll make a few phone calls. Had a couple of phone calls. He's like, nah, no luck. No one's answering. So I'll just go try this guy. Goes into the back, into the restaurant, and just found, finds some cunt who's having dinner with his family. And he pulls up, and he just, pulls through. Yeah, he just, he's like, oh, I know the cunt's got the high lux. You want to go give him, give him a toe out? Give, him a, give us a toe out. It's like, you good bastard. Legend. Towed us out. Got, um. True Kiwi. Oh, he was iconic. <laughs> Gave him a bit of coin. Said, bloody, yeah, can cover your dinner, mate. Interrupt your dinner with your family. Nice. And got her out, like Good rolled gesture. her back to the bottom of the hill, went to change the tyre because it was flat, went to chuck the spacey on. Yeah. Got, this, got, her, got her off. No, I didn't get her off. Went to start cranking her up on the jack. And literally, I didn't even see it, but I saw C's face just drop. I was like looking at him going to the jack. And he just like, like dropped and started like walking down the road. I was like, what the fuck just happened? Go around the corner, we're blowing both bearings out on the jack. So the jack literally just falls to pieces in my hands, like four pieces of the jack. We're just like, well, fuck. We're not getting that tire off, are we? Waited like two minutes and just some disaster cut. disaster after yeah, disaster. Some cut that was in the pub that saw me go in soaking wet. Thought, fuck, I'll go for a wee look, see what they're doing, see how they are, yeah. how fucked they are. Went for a cruise past. Literally would have been like a minute after we fucked the jack. He cruised past and stopped. We waved him down, got the jack out of his car. Give him a wee jack up. He was cracking up. He's like, I've been here a few times, boys. We've been in the size of the ditch. We're like, oh, we've been after a few nights at those, big, those pubs, was it? Yeah, nah, a couple of big nights at those pubs. And I can end up in the ditch along this road. It's a classic. Which is a classic pull-up spot. Yep. So uh, we did that, did the boost. Finally got her away. And we didn't really know where we were going. So we're like, fuck, we'll go to New Plymouth. Stay in New Plymouth for the night. And then everyone was starting to get shitty in there because I'd crashed the fucking car and we were all pumping down, tired as fuck. Yeah. So we had to start ringing up cunts just like every hotel in New Plymouth to see if we'd get a place to stay. Luckily, and unfortunately, Brian Adams was in town at the same time. So everywhere was booked out. <laughs> Got one room, one place that had one room spare because they had a late cancellation. Oh, and sewed her up. Yep. Snuck in there. Got there, had a good sleep. Had to go and fix the tyre, get the tyre sorted the next day. Because we were on your space savers. Um, space saver. Oh. Yeah, went and got that sorted. And I went down afterwards. The, the fucking all the boys were hitting me up like, oh, no, nah, we'll see if we can stay here for another night, eh? We'll just chill out. No rush. Sweet ass. So I went and hit the people up downstairs. I was like, oh, is it, any chance you've got any other rooms available? They're like, no, nah, we're definitely all booked out tonight because tonight is Brian Adams. So we're like, fuck. And they're like, oh, we actually might have, do you see the off the um off premises place going? And we're like, well, oh, what's that? They literally set us up with a house on the waterfront in New Plymouth. Like nice. massive house, gangster ass, like four bedroom house. Just for you guys. Just for us. Yeah. We're just like, oh, this is sit. So we went there and it was like was cheap. It a stinger? Was no, it was cheaper than what it was to buy the ho- get the hotel room. The fuck? It was trippy. So we're just like, okay, sweet. I'll take that then. And stayed there. A wee bit of a relax up, bit of a blow up, keep an yeah. eye on the people on the bloody waterfront. Yeah. And then that's probably about the gist of it. Did the cruise from there, cruise back, back down. Home. Back home. Back over into Ireland. Yep. Oh, they wouldn't let me drive back home, so it was D that was doing the driving for the rest of the trip. You're a fucking nav car. Yep. yep. You've had a few fucking driving disasters, you I'm not the best. I'm not the best driver. <laughs> I'll be the first to admit that one. How would have crashed as you had, can't? I don't know. If you include that, like I've been in like six. Yeah. But with you behind the wheel? Or? Nah. Five with me behind the wheel. Yeah. One wasn't my fault, <laughs> but it still kind of was. Boy, how was it kind of? That was the rear end, rear ending of, what's, the, is it Top Cup, Job Cup? I don't know what the fuck it's called. That, like, um, Southern Regions Rugby. Oh, they have an Alex. To, I think it's Top Cup. Yeah. yeah. For that, and, like, got t- got rear ended. You know the wee shortcut at Beaumont that you can do? You can go through Beaumont and you can cut yeah. that wee side one. I went to cut that. There was a car coming the other way, so I couldn't turn. And the guy behind me went round, but the guy behind him went straight up me. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah, so that was a ride off of the tids. And a check a quick wee a quick wee jump of jump God. of seats. <laughs> you've had you've had disaster <laughs> behind the Yeah, no, nah, I've had some good ones. Um Yeah, no, nah, I've had some goodies. I still think old 
I would roll through the paddock, through the fence. That bloody Mary Keith was the best. Yeah, give us it. Give that us was, it. That was a, with old Brando, yeah. as, as seen on old podcasts. Mm. And uh, Samara went through, went through a f- like rolled doing skid lap because it was hard and like tough 15, guy. 15, six, <laughs> like six, no, 16, and went around a corner way too fast and just slid out, rolled down a bank and went through a fence. Luckily, landed on our wheels all right, and everyone's fuck, everyone was fine. Everyone walked away, but it was a big old crash. I was probably going, probably going like 90 when we rolled. Yeah, fucking lucky, bro. Yep. Fucking lucky. Real lucky, and they'd just locked down trees, and if the trees were still there, we'd probably be dead because we would definitely would have hit them. But there was a dint in the back roof of where we hit the tree stump, and if that was like a metre forward, Brando might have been in a bit of trouble. Yeah, right. But he's walked away to tell a story. Yep. I think Samara had one bruise on her leg. That was it. <laughs> Fuck, that's <laughs> that we were lucky. fine. It was real lucky. That's so lucky. Had to tow her out, fix the fence. It was a fucking ordeal. I think, what does that say? I think she's still recording, but maybe we should just wrap it up. I might go get, we'll do the high virtue test. You suck at driving, good shit. Um, yeah. You I suck at driving. What's your high virtue test? As long as it's not that fucking hot sauce. Johnny Walker's gone right. It has. Oh, the Warriors have come back. The Warriors are up by two with 38 seconds left against the Miami Heat. But they should have won from the get-go, but it is in Miami. You'll give it that. Yep. Okay, you ready for this shit? Yep. Okay, so always. it's just like either pick option A or option B. Yep. Okay, so the first one is OCD or Horde? OCD. And then comfort or adventure? Adventure. Compassion or competition? Compassion. Harmony or honesty? Honesty. Group or solo discussion? Solo. Purpose or pleasure? Pleasure. Happy and sad or content? Happy and sad. Question or answer? Answer. Oh, the first one. Real. First one. Everyone goes question. Congratulations, mate. Everyone go question. Everyone goes question. Why? Don't know. I prefer I prefer to have things wrapped up. <laughs> of course you do. Yeah, I prefer uh, an answer. <laughs> I don't know if an uh, there's you can every question has to have an answer, but can you have an answer without a question? Exactly. Exactly. Right, That's the paradox. You know? It's good. Oh, okay. I, I was surprised that we haven't had an answer yet. Yeah. Like every time I was just like, fuck. Question. Again. Question. Yeah. Question. Um power to the individual or power to the group? How to the group. And then your last one, yes or no. Is that it? Yep. <sighs> Probably yes. You're a yes man. You've got to be a yes man, don't you? Nice one, Jim. Has, any, <laughs> uh, has anyone said no to that? Yep. Really? I'm a knower. You're a knower. I'm a fuck no. <laughs> I'm a fuck no. <laughs> nah, I'm a, I'm a yes. I'm a big yes. Yeah. No, fair enough, mate. Hey, cheers for that. Yep. No, like, I was thinking we oh. could maybe try finish these, but. I'm, I'm a bit hesitant. That's a lot of fucking whiskey to drop down. I got work in a like, <laughs> twenty <laughs> minutes. Work, boy. I'm just going for a piss stumble around the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gonna teach fucking primary school kids? You poor bastard. Oh, that'll be right. That'll be right. They'll never know. Hey, cheers, mate. Clocking out, kids. Um, thanks, Jaden, Heapsy, for joining me on the Scrappy Chamwags. Clocking out. <laughs> Actually, wasn't too bad. Sure.